noodles. Let's go three at a time. Three noodles at a time for each group. my cousin oh oh here he comes oh he just came hello joe oh my goodness hello kids where in the world have you been i come up here i come up here every single day and i look out in the big top and nobody all year and then the leaves change color, and then the snow. Oh, you should see me in the snow. Actually, you can't see me. And then every day I checked, and there's no kids. I am so happy that you're here. But I have one problem. Do you know what the problem is? The wolf is missing. The wolf is, did he sneak where? Oh, that's a really good idea. Maybe he did that. Ha Maybe what? Oh, maybe he got loud. Maybe, maybe he got stuck in the gift shop or the, maybe you got, how did you get to be so smart? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you a story. Is that okay if I tell you the story about the wolf while he's not here? Is that okay with you? Once upon a day, it was bright and beautiful sunny at Doe River Gorge, and the birds were chirping, and the frogs were croaking, and the snakes were slithering. 
And all the counselors and SWATs were saying, Yeehaw. Yeah. Oh, that was really good. And all the kids were saying, You to who? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. And then, all of a sudden, from behind the sidetrack, guess what it was? It was a gigantic, very amazing. Did you? No, it wasn't a wolf. Why are you saying wolf? Okay, so back to my story. It was a gigantic, amazing, crazy, amazing. What in the world are you screaming about? Oh, I did you say you like my wool? Thank you. I washed it today. So anyway, out from behind the sidetrack came the most amazing, the most ah! Ah. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Uh Wolf, you scared me almost to death. Oh my goodness gracious, I didn't mean to do that. I was just out checking things out at the sidetrack, making sure there was enough Skittles for the kids, and I just decided to come say hello. So, hello, kids. Do you know what? You're so amazing. What, what about me? What about me and Joe? What about me and Joe? What about you and Joe? No, I'm just saying, like you just told the kids they're amazing, and what about me and Joe? Right, so you're amazing too. You know that. I love you, sheep. Oh, you're just so amazing, sheep. Thank you, Wolf. So this week, we're going to be talking about something. We're going to be talking about something called... Wolf. Behave yourself, Wolf. Wolf. We're going to be talking about something that's called, you want to say it, Wolf? <laughs> oh, we're going to be talking about change. What about change, like 50 cents or something? No, like 25, no, just kidding. No, not that kind of change. Or are you talking about like changing my ears or my hair or something like that? No. What do you, what do you, no. <laughs> oh. I got oh that oh, really that's gonna be amazing. I can't wait for that. Well, I, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Mama Graham tell the kids. I'm not gonna tell them. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Joe, did you get enough water today, Joe? Good. Joe has laryngitis or gerontitis, depending on how you want to say it, so he can't talk. But anyway, this is my favorite time of the whole day. Are you ready? And this is how we do it, like this. Mama Graham. What? Mama Graham. What? Mama. What? Our sure later, kid. Love you, kid. See you later. See you tomorrow. You're either dead, still dead in your sins, or you've trusted Jesus and you are alive in Jesus. I hope everybody is here. If we're in Christ, we become a what? A new creation. Wow, how neat. We're not saved by works. We talked about that. If we were saved by works, we'd all go around bragging. We're saved because it's a gift of God. It's just by believing in him. It's by grace you've been saved through your faith. But you look at the verses after that, and he goes, you know why God saved you? He wants you to go out and do good works. Good works don't save you. A lot of people think they, they're, if I'm good enough, man, God's going to put a scale up there, and if I'm good enough, I get in. Wrong. Jesus said, the only way to heaven is through me. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody gets to the Father except through me. That's what Jesus said. But once you've trusted him, then he wants you to go out and do good works. Live for him every day.
goodness. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, I, um, do you not like my fro? Because you sing about Joe's fro, but not about my fro. It's okay. Good morning, kids. Hey, did you do your devotions yet today? Did you do your Bible time with your... No? No? Yeah, okay, good, yes, good. Yeah, I don't have my contacts in yet today. Uh, do you know, so you must, do you know what my name is? There's a lot of new kids out there. What is it? Do you think that's my real name or just my nickname? It's my nickname. Sheep is my nickname. Do you want to know my real name? No, that's Billy Goat, not Billy Sheep. Silly. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, okay, so anyway, um, do you know that song that you were just singing, Beep, Beep, Here Comes the Sheep? <laughs> My first name is Beep. That's right. That's very, very, very creative. Wow. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little story. You ready? Oh, I need the wolf. What in the world? Hey, wolf. Everybody call Wolf. Notice I didn't say cry wolf. That's not the right thing, but you can call the wolf. One, two, three, go. Hold on. Let me go see if I can find him. Maybe Joe will come up while I'm, I'm done. Oh, don't go away. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Hey, wolf. Wolf, what are you doing? I can't understand you, wolf. What are you doing? Oh, boy. It's going to be a long day. Oh, Okay, well, the kids are waiting for you, so you better come soon. Okay, he said he's coming soon. I think he's brushing his teeth or something, so we'll just go ahead. Oh, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, kids. I was brushing my teeth. I hope you want to smell my breath. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, it's, it's a little better, but uh, it's okay. Are you saying something about my breath? Wolf, your breath smells like a million roses. <laughs> I kind of doubt that, but that's nice anyway, Sheep. Thanks a lot. So uh, I heard you're going to tell the kid. Oh. Oh, what in the world, Joe? Oh, Joe wanted me to remind you to drink water, much water today. And what in the world? Why are you drinking non-water, Joe? That's juice. I don't know. I think, I think Joe's having a problem. Anyway, there was once upon a time, and it was a bright and sunny day. It was a bright and sunny day at Doe River Gorge, and the birds were chirping. And the frogs were croaking. Croak, 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 croak. Whoa, did you hear that? And the clouds were wisping in the sky. Wisp, 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 wisp. And the wolf came to me and he said, Sheep, you need to go on the zip line. Yep, that's, that's what I said. That's what I said. And then guess what happened to the sheep? He fainted. <laughs> he fainted right away on the ground and he was out. So go ahead, finish your story, sheep. Uh, sheep, finish your story, sheep. Uh-oh, does anyone know CPR? No, 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 don't. Please don't do that to me, wolf. 
Are you kidding me? If you do that, I would disappear in your mouth. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. And so I went and I said, okay, I'll do it. And I put the harness on down at the gazebo and Gooch, he was doing that harnesses thing and he got, and then I went up the long, steep trail to the zip line. Why are you making this like a scary story? Because it was scary for me, Wolf, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And I got to the top and I couldn't believe it. I could see New York from the platform. Are, are you serious? I could see New York from the platform. It was so high. I couldn't breathe. There was no oxygen up there, and I fainted again. Oh, no, don't do that again. Oh. All right, here we go. Clear. Oh, no, just kidding. Just kidding. And so I stepped up to the edge of the platform, and they got me all clipped in. And I said, are you sure? And they said, yes. And then, and then, and then, and then I said, are you positive? And then, and then? Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, okay, well, we can finish the story tomorrow. That's okay, that's okay, we'll finish it tomorrow. All right, because it's the best time of the day, here we go. Mama Graham. What? When you trust Jesus, you get to start all over. Brand new. He's taken all of your sin. Remember, he nailed it to the cross. He took all. Jesus didn't become sin. He, he became sin, but he didn't sin. He just took all of our sin. And we get to start over. What comes out of our mouth? Every word that comes out of our mouth should honor God. I want you to think about all the things you've already said today. Or maybe things that you said yesterday. Maybe to somebody on your team. Or to your counselor. So we need to think, this is what it means when it says, honor God with your body. With everything that we have. Every single person who's ever been born will someday kneel before God. And he will look at you and ask you, what did you do with Jesus? What are you going to say? You have to make that choice. I had to make that choice. Every single person in the world has to make that choice. And if you say, God, I trusted your son Jesus as my Savior. I knew I was a sinner. I needed a Savior. And he'll say, come on into heaven and enjoy it for all eternity. His song should be, uh-oh, Joe, uh-oh, Joe, you know, like that or something like that. Uh, hey, kids, the uh, the sheep, you know who I'm talking about when I say the sheep? Uh, he is too embarrassed to come tell the rest of his story. So anyway, see you later, kids. Oh, God, God. I'm right, just kidding. Just kidding. But we do need to figure out a way to get the sheep out here because he is G-O-N-E. Gone. Has anyone seen the sheep? Maybe, no. I don't know, in the pasture or something, you know, where sheep go. Where did you see him? At the zip line. No, the zip line is what he's scared of. Oh, and uh, I think he is an octoball. Did you know that he is the octoball champion of the world? He's a what? Oh. Oh, well, good morning, little chief. Yeah. Good morning, Wolf. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, kids. Did, who, who said I love you? Oh, you just made my day. What about, what about me, chief? Yeah. 
The kids love you too, Wolf. You just have to be gentle. Okay, so do you want me to finish my story or not? Was that the really scary part? I, I think the kids can't handle it when it's really scary. So... You can handle it when it's scary? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Should I repeat some of it from yesterday? Yo! Is yo like yes and no combined? Is that like maybe? Yo. Yes, no. So I got to the platform at the top and I could see New York City. Trey, you said that yesterday. That's not true. Were you up there with me, Wolf? Uh, no. Well, I saw New York City. It's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful thing to see. And then all those awesome counters, they got me all clipped in. And I said, are you sure? And they probably said, yes. And then I said, are you double sure? And they probably said, yes. And then I said, are you quadruply sure? And they probably said, what are you talking about, Chief? No, they said, yes. And then I counted to three. One. Two, and then all of a sudden when I got the toy, I started shaking like this. I couldn't control myself. I was just shaking and shaking and shaking. Hey, see, you're going to give yourself a heart attack. You better stop. And I was shaking and shaking, and I just couldn't stop. And so I, I said, what's the next number after two? And everyone said, three. And, and I said, eight. You said eight, like one, two, eight? Yeah, I couldn't say three. I said one, two, and then I was shaking and I said eight. So are you telling me you never went off the zip line? No, no. So, so I finally got the courage and I said, <laughs> I just couldn't get it out of my mouth. I was so scared. And finally I said, and then, and then, then what? Then what? Hurry, tell me you're, you're like I'm on the edge of a cliff or something. I said three. Yeah, so then what? I mean, is that it? So then what happened? So then I stepped off the platform and I screamed the whole way down. Is that the end of the story? Where did Joe go? Oh, there he is. And then all of a sudden, I looked in front of me. I opened my little eyes, and I said, oh, no. Guess who's in the lake right in my way? Oh, no. What was it? Was it Gooch? No, no, no. It's not a person. It was Wilbur. <gasps> like Wilbur the duck? Yeah, I was going to plow right through him. And so I didn't know what to do, and I said, I said, beep. Beep, here come the sheep, beep, beep, here come the sheep. And then Wilbur went sliding out of the way. Oh, that's where the song comes from. Yeah, that's where my song comes from. Well, we better clap for the sheep and his story. That was pretty amazing, sheep. Oh, thank you, thank you.
Oh yeah, sing. And flex. And flex. Oh. 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 Good morning, people. Good morning, people. Oh, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Joe. My bestest cousin ever. My bestest cousin ever. And the wolf, wolf, why are you hiding down there? What's the matter, wolf? Do you, it's not, it's not the end of the week yet. They're not going home yet. Oh. Well, boo to you too, Wolf. Thank you. Good morning, kids. Uh, I just want to make sure. Did you brush your teeth today? Sheep, did you brush your teeth? Oh, of course I did. I brush my teeth 16 times a day. How many do you brush yours? Oh, oh not that many, for sure. Uh, how about, did you have your devotions? Did you do your Bible time with your counselors? Yes, the correct answer is. That, that means yes. That's a universal sign for yes, like this. Uh, the sheep asked me to share a story this morning, but I'm a little embarrassed. Is that okay? Can you be kind to me? I think they'll be, I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be fine. It is, it's, a, thank you. I love you too, and you just made my day. Now, the story is a little bit scary, so you got to just, just sit tight and nobody fall out of your chairs. Are you ready? Once upon a long, long time ago, in this very galaxy... Well, it wasn't a galaxy far away? No, no, it wasn't cheap. Uh... I, I was I was sitting and I was I was all I was just like the best thing ever and I was like I could tell people about God and I would take messages to them from God and and all of a sudden God said hey wolf yeah and so you just did you just sit there or what no I said yes Lord and then he said you need to go all the way over there to no 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 where where did he tell you to go? He told me to go to na 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 Whoa. Is that like a crazy far away huge place or something? Anyway, and I said No. <gasps> Are you kidding my face? You said no to God. Yeah, that's why I'm embarrassed to tell my story. See, if I told you I didn't want to tell my story. Okay, I'm done. I, don't, I can't tell anymore. That's it. No, no, no. It's okay, really. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wolf. Go ahead, Wolf. <sighs> so not only did I say no to God, but I got on a ship that was not going close to Nineveh, but going in the opposite direction. Oh. Oh, there's some super smart kids out there. Were you going to Tarshish? I was going to Tarshish. You like that? I like saying that Tarshish. That's why I went there. It's a fun name to say, Tarshish. Sometimes I sing about Tarshish. Tar just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, you can need to keep telling your story. You're going to run out of time. Oh, oh, actually, I think we're already out of time. Wolf, can you finish your story tomorrow, Wolf? Well, uh, sure, I can, sure. I'll finish my story tomorrow. Is that okay with you kids? Okay, well, it's okay with me, and it's okay with a sheep. And, and... Joe says no because it rhymes with his name. Yeah, like, no Joe. Oh, my goodness, no Joe. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's me, that's me, that's me. Oh. Oh.
Oh, yeah. That's me. Oh, good morning, kids. Good morning. In other words, buenas noches. Ocho's tacos and all those other things. Guess I have some amazing news and some very, very sad news. The good news first, Joe's gerinitis is gone. So, Joe, do you have a few words for us today, Joe? Hi. <gasps> Can you believe your face? He just said a word. And the bad news is the wolf will not come up. <gasps> do you know why he won't come up? Oh, shh, 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 Don't say it. Don't say it. It's that, it's the day that starts with <sighs> and sounds like Earth Day. But don't, oh, don't show Okay, well, then he won't come tell his story. It's, no, don't lie about it. It's just, you can't say the word. Let me go see if I can get him to come. Joe, I'll be right back. Don't go away, kids. Hey, Joe. Hey, Wolf, you really have to come because the kids... The kids are going to cry. The kids are going to cry their face off. Come on, Wolf. You can do it. Come on. Oh, okay, so he said he might come as long as you're very, very kind when he's telling his story. Can you do that? Even if it's scary, he doesn't want you to fall off your chair. You, you got that? Okay, come on, Wolf. You can do it. You can do it just a little bit higher, Wolf. One more step. <clears throat> Hello, kids. Oh, today's, well, then I'll see you later. What in the world? Don't say that word, kids. Come on, Wolf, come back up here. Do you want me to finish telling my story or N-O-T? Okay. So, in my story, it's very embarrassing, but yes, I said N-O to God. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe you told us that part again. That's the scariest part of all. I know. But wait till you hear what happens. Not only did I say no, I got on that boat, you know, that boat thing with the sail thing, and, and I headed to Tarsus. Yeah, remember? Tarsus, Tarsus, Tarsus. I was singing the whole way. I was singing so much that I felt really tired, and I went down into the bottom of the boat, and I fell asleep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what's going to happen now. Hey, Wolf, Wolf, you got to finish your story, Wolf. Well, the oh, Skittles. Oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> the Skittles are kicking in. And so, and so I fell asleep, and all of a sudden I felt a drip on my nose. Rip. A drip? Yeah, like a drip, like a water sheep. It was drip, and then all of a sudden, the, rock, the boat started going back and forth like this, back and forth, back and forth, <clears throat> back and forth, chick, chick. Back. What are you doing, sheep? I was just, just making a little rap of your back and forth thing. Okay, well, you're disrupting my story. Anyway, the guys came running down and they said, Wolf, what in the world? We're all going to die. We're all going to drown. And I said, uh-oh. You, you said, uh-oh? Yeah, I said, uh-oh. And then what did they say? Hurry, Wolf. They said, why are you saying, uh-oh, I said I'm running away from God. And they all fainted. <laughs> they all fainted just like me? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, and then when they woke up, I said, you got to throw me in. So one. They're going to throw you in the water? Two. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go in the water yet. They're going to throw you in the water because you're running away from God? That's right. One. Two. 
three. And down, down, down to the depths. My nose is always falling off. And oh, oh, there's a test. Are you, we are, are you, we are out of time. I have to finish my story another time. Oh, it's Thursday, so we have to finish the story. Thursday. So all of a sudden, as I was to the end of my everything, a large, great, amazing, <laughs> scary fish walked up to me. Yes, I said walked, walked up to me. And in one fin, he had salt. The other fin, he had pepper. And he opened his mouth. Rawr. Uh, 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 uh. Didn't understand oh that part, Wolf. Uh, 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 uh. You have to talk with your mouth open and closed. Oh, and he swallowed me whole. And as I was going in his mouth, I passed his teeth, and then his tongue, and then his uvula, and then I was in his stomach for three days. It smelled so wonderful, like lavender and roses. Oh, it's just, just amazing. And then he got a stomach ache and started swimming as fast as he could to the shore. And I was in his tail. And then he, what did he do? Did he? Yep, he threw up. And there I was on the beach, and I said, okay, I get it now. I am going to obey God. And you did that? Yeah, and all the people, guess what happened? God changed all their hearts, just like we're learning about this week. And so you were super happy about that? Oh, uh, well, that's actually another story for another day.